Hey what's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Inazalea and welcome to the CraterGalaxy.com space station. Here in space we're experimenting with intergalactic filmmaking skills and visual effects. If you're interested in our upcoming videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to stay notified when we upload new content from outer space. As you might have realized, I've been posting less frequently than I'm used to. That's not because I gave up, it's actually because we moved. We finally have more space to work with, which means we can produce better videos in the future and yeah, I'm also pretty motivated. So the room tour video will come soon, but still have to clean up all this mess. I don't want to show you this. All right, so let's do this. But before we continue with this video, I'd like to say a few words of today's video sponsor, Airtable. Airtable is your all-in-one production kit from pre to post and everything in between. Airtable will immediately provide value to you and your team because finally everything can be centralized in one place. Capture all of the details of your video in one place, develop your ID from concept to pilot, source and track your locations, manage the freelancers, crew and talent and seamlessly spec your shoot schedule. And with their mobile apps you can access all of this information on the go. With pro features like Page Designer, you can quickly generate documents like call sheets and schedules from information that already exists in the Airtable base. Production on Airtable gives you a bird's eye view on all of your different timelines and phases. With pro features, you can quickly visualize all your tasks and moving pieces in one place, as well as track dependencies and quickly make changes to your timeline should things ever change or get delayed. Everybody knows that producing even a 5 minute video can sometimes require hours of footage. Regain precious hours and post by leveraging Airtable to quickly tag and track metadata for all of your various clips. You can filter all the clips by a specific person, location or any other custom parameter like clips quality. If you'd wish to find out more about Airtable, please follow the link in the description below. Alright, back to the video. It was a lot of work, but we're finally set up, so we can start off the new season with an army clone tutorial, which was requested so much in our Draco Ovum short film. A short film I have done in collaboration with Zion. They sent over the Zion Crane LAB3 and I must say, it's a beast gimbal. I absolutely love this new design and it's great for low angle shots. It also has plenty of functionalities like focus pull and zoom pull. I just adore it. Just one thing, when you're running backwards with a gimbal, be careful because you could actually fall, you're not seeing what's behind you. So how we did it was actually someone holding the cameraman's shirt and guide him on the field. This is a better way to stay safe. A little pro tip. Also a special thanks to Lark Vision, which you can find on Instagram and Facebook for playing the one man army in our short. And also a big thanks to Thomas from Ground to Sky for producing these epic drone shots. Thomas is a professional drone operator that really enjoys helping us out, so please go show both of them some love from outer space. From me. <laughs> so, if you are wondering how a professional crew is during the shooting days, here it is. For the clone effect we need two things a camera on a tripod and a portable green screen. The reason I took a portable green screen instead of a studio is because we want to record the actors in the same environment as the other clips. That way the lighting will fit perfectly. I have four shots, a backplate, a main actor and then the same actor in different costumes, in different perspectives, doing different things, in a different, no, not different. I have a centered warrior, a warrior on the left and a warrior on the right. You can also always flip a warrior from the left to become a warrior to the right in post, so you even have more variation. Gotta be smart in this world. Also make sure that you record each warrior long enough so you actually have enough time to randomize it and offset the time later on in your video. So don't just shoot 5 seconds video, make him feel awkward and just keep recording while he is just standing there doing nothing. I have my fun doing that. Anyway, if you want to work with the exact same footage as me, I will put a link in the description below so you can follow along with this tutorial using the exact same footage as me. So the first thing that I did was bring the backplate into a new composition in Adobe After Effects. Then I imported the main actor on top of that and masked that around the actor so we only have the green visible. 
Make sure that we have a good rough mask on every frame. So if you need to animate that mask over time and then we are going to key out all the green. The way I usually key out my footage is by using the key light effect. I sample a color and then switch the view to screen matte, that way it's easier to see what is visible and what's not. Clean up your mask using the screen matte settings with the clip black and white. And once you're done, don't set your view to final result but choose intermediate result instead. I find that final result usually gives me too much noise and artifacts, so instead I use an additional effect called advanced spill suppression to get rid of all the green spill. And that usually works a lot better. Next we'll bring in a new video file from a different wire and respect the camera angle. Repeat this process, you can copy and paste the previous keying effects because we're in the same lighting environment, so it should match up. Scale and position your army around him, use different video files and after that you should have something like this. You can also offset the time of each individual video file so it looks like everybody is unique in its own little way. You unique little snowflake. One little problem I ran into was that my green screen wasn't big enough, so their legs weren't on the green screen. I could have rotoscoped it, but you know me. I just changed the aspect ratio to a more cinematic widescreen. But yeah, you could rotoscope it if you want to. You can also blur the people in the back and the background layer a little bit more to give a little bit more of a feeling that there is depth in your shot. And then at last I added an adjustment layer on top of it all and I added one of our lids from our lid pack to give it a nice middle ages vibe to make sure everything blends well together. I'll put a link in the description to that lid pack if you're interested. And that's it, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, if you did be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell to stay notified when I upload new videos and also check out our website, we have a bunch to offer for any kind of digital creative and if you buy something from our website it really helps to support this channel. Hope to see you boys and girls in the next one, take care and goodbye.